Hello developers and welcome to another video. I hope you are hungry because today I am going to show you how to do this tasty cake with two candles and some animation in the candles. So I have a class named Box and then I am using SCSS. I am using SCSS mostly to define uh, my colors and uh, nothing special. Um, here I have some RGBA colors and I am using the A because I want some transparency. But most of the colors are uh, symbol are hex or linear gradient from top or to bottom. For the class box I have a position relative a margin auto, a display block and a red border that I am actually going to comment in the end of our pen. As for the pen uh, you can find it in the description box, I will leave a link to my code pen and in github. So all my classes will be under the class box. The first class is going to be cake bottom and then I have a class named space. Inside the class base I'm also going to have 10 other classes uh, with similar properties. So now let's start writing our SCSS. For the cake bottom I'm going to have uh, a position absolute top 55, left 29, width 22, height uh, sorry 24, both width and height, and then some background of dark brown, a border radius. Here I'm using Clippy tool, and um, if you're not familiar with this tool, well, it's something that helps you make some shapes quite more easier and faster than you will have to do it in CSS. But of course, you can do it in CSS too. So now let's do the baseline from 1 to 10. I'm using again a smaller trapezoid. Just copy and paste uh, the, the code from the Clippy tool. And yes, every time I'm going to add uh, to the left, sorry, to the top um, 10%. So I'm not going to write everything because I think it's pretty simple. Let's just see the final result. Okay. Here it is with our 10 base lines. So you can have this uh, little stripe effect. And this is RGBA as we saw earlier. I have now my cake chocolate and then a uh, whipped cream. And inside the whipped cream I have whipped cream 2 and whipped cream 3. And then outside I have a class star, a cherry, cherry bullet block and cherry bullet top. So you can have some uh, cool details in our cherry. Great. For the cake chocolate, my color will be cake chocolate and uh, the border radius will be 50%. Okay, let's uh, correct that. Great. And for the whipped cream, I'm going to have uh, 1, 2 and 3, but here the color is going to be whipped cream and the border radius will continue to be 50%. Here the width and the height is going to be 90%. So maybe you don't even need uh, whipped cream 3, you could use the same class like whipped cream 2 as nothing have changed. For the star just copy and paste uh, the ready code from the clippy tool, you don't have to change anything. Just give a transform raw date of 50 degrees. The transform, uh, uh, the, sorry the rotation property will just move your uh, star a little bit. For the cherry, I'm also using the color cherry, but this is a linear gradient color. My bullet black is obviously going to be black. And then for the top part, I'm going to have a, a green little part. But here will be a trick, because my background will be known. And then I'm going to have my border top left radius of 50% and the border left uh, with green and 3 pixel. Okay, and let's continue with the candles. I'm going to have two candles, but inside these two candles I'm going to have candle line 1 through 15. And these lines are going to be the same, so you only will have to write them once. No twice, just once. So let's start writing our candles. For the first candle, I'm going to have a background of candle. Okay, I didn't write it very uh, correct here. Alright, let's fix that. And then the border radius will be 5%. The rotation is going to be minus 10 degrees. And the same for the candle 2, for our second candle. Keep the rotation the same, just move it a little bit to the left and to the top. For the lines, I'm going to add 7% to the top. 
So once again, I'm not going to show you how to do you how to do every line because it's exactly exactly the same. Keep everything the same. Just add to the top five percent. Sorry, seven percent, and that's it. I have two more classes, and then we are done. The first one is going to be Fire Candle One, and the second Fire Candle Two. And here is where we will add our uh, animation. The color will be Fire Candle, and the rotation will be minus ten degrees. Great. The border radius is going to be fifty percent. But then we will add um, a triangle, so we can have a, a better shape. The name of the animation is going to be Candle Fire, it's going to be for 3 seconds and it's going to be infinity. So you can see every time uh, the candle. I will have a transform scale 1, a transform scale 1.3 and again 1 for 100%. And that is the final result and I hope you liked it.